Hi guys, so today I'm turning the camera around and away from myself and I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial and how to create one of the easiest event planning templates for your business. And that's going to be your client welcome letter. So let's go. I'm getting started in Canva. And for those of you who are not familiar with Canva, it's www.canva.com. It's an online design program with so many free templates that you can use to easily customize templates for your business. So here's how you're going to do it. The first thing you do when you log into Canva is you'll notice that your main screen gives you a couple of design options. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just scroll through and try to select a letter template and I'll use that to start the letter. So I'm just going to expand all the options. Okay, here we go. So I have a US letter document template. That's an option. There's a letter and a letterhead. So I'm going to go with the letter template. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just name my document. I'm going to call it client welcome letter. And I'm going to use the name of my business, right? So maybe your business is called something else, but I'm going to use the event certificate. Or I could use event plan and templates because those are the two businesses that I run. Okay, so the next thing you can do is on the left sidebar, you'll notice that in Canva, there's a number of template options. They give you so many options for the design. So because I'm using this for my business, I want something pretty, but I, I want it to still be professional. Um, so I'm going to choose something fairly simple with some text and maybe a border. Okay, I'll go with this one. I'm not a huge fan of the flower, so I might actually change that. Okay, here we go. So I'll go with this template because it's easily customizable. And once you have the template ready to go, the next thing you want to focus on before you focus on the content, I like to focus on the design first only because I like the pretty stuff. So let's say you have one of your event pictures, you could change it here. If not, you could go with, you could upload the photo, right? Sometimes I do my photo uploads, or if not, you could just choose anything that you have. So I'm going to upload a photo. And I'll use something maybe with some flowers and some party themes. Okay, so I'll go with, yeah, I'll go with the party one. It looks a little bit more playful. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change anything with color to my branding colors. So if you don't know your branding colors, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to do that. So if you don't know your branding colors, Canva has a color palette generator. Here it is. So I just went to Google and went Canva color palette generator. And here you can upload the image. I'm going to upload just something very random. Um, this is from a client's file, so I'm just going to upload it. And when you upload it, you'll see that what it does is it gives you all the codes needed for your business. So we'll go with this and we'll just copy this number. Let's say this is the branding colors that is for my business, which it's not. You guys know it's blue and gold if you follow me. Um, and I'm going to use this light blue one that it recommended. So all you need to do is you just need to click on the color option, click on that little plus sign. And just paste the code you just copied into the color box and it will update it with your branding colors and I'm gonna do that again for the footer region actually I don't need to paste it this time I just need to select it because it's already there and I'm also gonna make my view a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing and because I changed the background I'm gonna make this text a little darker so that the contrast stands out a bit more. So I'm going to ungroup this because right now in the template, these two things are grouped together. I'm just going to ungroup it. I'm going to delete the smaller one. I'm going to keep the larger one. And you see Canva shows you what the font is. 
If you don't have any funds for your business, I suggest setting that up. So use two to three, no more than three. And honestly, I want you to stick to two, two types of funds that you use in your business. And one will be your header font and the other will be your body font, right? So I'm gonna choose for my header font, I'm gonna choose, um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go with Bevis. I think that's how it's pronounced. I really like it. It's a very strong font, a good heading, and I'm gonna make it black, right? Just so it really pops on that. And I'm gonna increase the size, and I'm just gonna put a welcome letter. I think I can make this bigger, so I'll go to 36. And I'll pull it down and make sure that the everything is centered. And you'll notice as I'm doing that, Canva is really good with the grid lines and helping you stay within certain margins. And I'm gonna do the same for the footer, except for the footer, I'm gonna go with glacial, there we go, indifference. I really like this font. I'm also gonna make it darker. I'm gonna bring it up a little, maybe to 10. And all I'm gonna put down here is my website. So www. I'm gonna go with event plan and templates, event plan and templates com. And I'm also gonna make it, I'm gonna capitalize it just to make it stand out a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna remove the www because it becomes a little cumbersome. I'm just gonna leave it as eventplanningtemplates.com and I'm gonna change the spacing um, just to bring the letters out a little bit more away from each other. And you can change this. I'm gonna go with 100 here. I think that looks good. Now in the body, I'm gonna again change the font to glacial. There we go. So I'm gonna ungroup this because the only thing I need is just this and this. But I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Sixteen looks good, but it looks too big. Let's go back down a little bit. There you go. So I'm going to start my letter and this is where I'm going to give you your content tips. So in your welcome letter, there's three things you want your welcome letter to a client to achieve. One is you want to thank them for signing up with you, for hiring you, for booking you. You really want to get that across Two. You want to introduce yourself, your company, and you want to tell them, number three, you want to set expectations. So tell them how you're going to be working together, what they can expect from you, and what you expect in return. So here's what mine's going to look like. I'm going to just say, uh, dear Jody Ann, and you might, you don't even have to say dear, but I like to be official here for some reason. Um... Uh, thank you for choosing event planning templates for your event. I look forward to working with you on your wedding. Now we're going to introduce yourself. I'm going to say... I'm the founder. I'm the founder and CEO. As well, I work with a number of planners who will also be working on your event. However, should you have any questions, please contact me.
directly as I will be the main planner for your event. So I've just introduced myself. I've told her a little bit about my company, that there are other planners there. And I'm going to set expectations. I'm going to say her office is open Monday to Saturday during regular business hours. If you need to get a hold of us outside of business hours, please send an email to info at eventplanningtemplates.com and we will respond as soon as possible. The next thing I like to tell client is expectations from them. So you could say something like, um, if there are any other decision makers for your event that I or we have not met, please let us know and we will include them in all our communications. So this does a couple of things. The reason why I say you need to outline expectations for your clients is that it gives them an opportunity to tell you if there's anyone that you need to include as well as it ensures that there's no miscommunications down the road. And there are different ways you can put this. It could be maybe they have their mom would like to be more involved and included because they're paying for the wedding. Or maybe it's that the client is handling certain vendor bookings and you would like to be in the loop so there's no miscommunications. Whatever that is for your business, it needs to be outlined in the letter. Then I'm going to make my font a bit smaller only because my salutation is getting pushed off the page. Um, so you see, so I'll put my salutation down here. And I'm also going to make it glacial. I'm going to make it 12. I'm going to say sincerely, Jodian. Jodian Row. Founder and CEO event planning templates. So there you have it. You've just created your client welcome letter. Now, most of the welcome letter, depending on how you work with your client, will either be sent by email or handed to them in person or delivered in the mail to their home in their welcome kit. So if you have any questions, let me know. But the next step I'm going to show you now is how to download this letter. So in Canva, it has a couple of options for your download. You can download a PDF for print, which I highly suggest only because the quality is a bit higher, especially if you're emailing. And then you can do a standard PDF or you can make it an image file. I don't recommend an image file for letters only because I, I worked in a university for a very long time and it's important to be AODA compliant, at least in Canada. I'm sure in the US you have similar rules in that you have to ensure that if someone is visually impaired, they can read the text. And in a letter, in an image, they're not able to do that. Right? Not all the assistive devices are able to pick the text up. So it's important to just put it in PDF. The other option is video, but I'll go with PDF. Um, you can also do crop and bleed marks if you're doing printing, but I usually reserve those for my graphic design projects, such as a poster. And then you're just going to hit that download button. Canva is going to pop up your download and you're just going to save it. So I'm just going to hit save. And here's the other thing that Canva does. It gives you a very cute option of an image outlay so you can see what that letter looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. But that's how you create your client welcome letter.
you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. And thanks so much for watching. And if you are looking to create your own client welcome letter and you're stuck for what to put in it, I do offer a template at eventplanningtemplates.com. So hop on over and check it out.